So we got a brand new trailer here. And you can see it doesn't even have plate yet. Here a little bit. The air is coming out of that red line. We'll take that off and see what we can do to fix it. Brand new trailer. Here's where you can hide out if you have to. Sorry, I had to clear that. Here's where you can hide out if you have to. It's still out of focus. There we go. Here's where you can hide out if you have to. <laughs> anyway, we'll get that fixed. And this is how I jury rigged it. See that? Listen. Yeah, we're gonna fix that too right now. I jury rigged it so I could get to Grand Junction, get to my brake. Hopefully, I didn't get called in. But well, we'll get that shit all fixed now. Forty-three thousand. 905 miles. Let the air dissipate. Oh, More than likely, I'm going to say that the copper or the brass bushing didn't get crimped on properly. Don't know how we can rectify this or not yet. We'll find out shortly. I have a whole lot of room to work in here. We don't need that one on the bottom anymore. That's actually hanging up there pretty good. Reckon we'll just leave it. Oh, come on. I would have fixed this when I picked up the trailer. But I didn't have any tools with me because I left them in the garage here. I'm talking my carry-on tools that I carry on the truck, which is what I'm using now. That noise you hear other than the air creaking. Huh. I thought it was rain, but I guess it was the truck slipping a little bit. I don't know, I have all the brakes are set. They always tend to move a little bit though, it's weird. You'll be sitting at night, set your brakes, and you leave them in the morning. 
I push in the tractor brakes and then boom, I feel it move quite a bit. Get a better position here. Well, there apparently is no brass ring on this line to crimp it. Nothing in there. And there was nothing on that. And there ain't nothing on the ground. How the hell did that ever get past inspection? This is down inside there. No, it wouldn't be inside. It would be on this line. Wow. Looks like that is 3-8 line. We are going to have to go to the hardware store and get a brass ring that goes on there when you put this on first like so you put the other ring on when you go down it compresses and compresses the spring the hose around that how that never ended up with that is beyond me huh so like I said it's a brand new trailer you can see that it had Temporary plates on it. This is a 2020 trailer utility, I believe. You guys have dropped the ball. Now, I knew it was leaking there before I left. But like I said, I couldn't fix it because I didn't have the tools with me. And I knew it wasn't going to break. Well, I didn't know it wasn't going to break, but I knew it would be. It's not my brake pod. It's just the air. This rubber deal is the air ride bag. It's an air ride suspension. And so that doesn't really affect it too much. It's a, well, it's not really a light load, not 30,000. But anyway, we made it to our destination. We can fix it now before we leave. Now, let's solve this problem. Don't quite yet know how I'm going to fix that one. Disconnected from the line. That was a 22 millimeter.
Well, I know the truck stop has these things, which I probably should get there too for 20 bucks. You can cut the line, screw it back in. So that's how we'll fix that one. And it looks like I might want to get some plumber's tape or something for both. Anyway, yeah, it's utility. 37 series trailer is brand new. When I started, we had three zero seven one trailers, then with three twos, then three threes, three fours, three fives, three six, three sevens. So that's totally uncalled for. See you in a bit. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. That's promising. This, uh, these two lines are different. This is the one that came on the truck. This is the replacement. As you can see, they didn't have us three eighths this quarter. They didn't have three eighths, but I didn't want to go all the way to the truck stop. So if it doesn't work, it'll keep me okay until I get to the truck stop. I've already put dishwashing liquid on here. Actually, before I do that, 22 millimeter. You know, we say it might not be the exact proper way to do it, but if I was out in the desert, broken down, that it would work. At least keep me going until. Oh, great. Great, great, great. I'll go through and get those later.
Okay, that's definitely better than it was because it had a crack in it, cut, if any you will. That bar popped open. Okay. It works, but we'll find out later. The jury rig. So the compression ring goes in like this actually it goes on that hose this goes on this goes on you crank it down see that green line that's been written off saying that it's okay how could it be okay when it didn't have that in it I totally understand Mondays and Fridays forgetting to put the compression ring on we're human it happens but not that. That's quality control. The guy that signed off on this trailer did not do his job. His possibly could be a socialist. But I don't know. Anyway, we'll get her fixed. So it's Father's Day. And I should be barbecuing and having a couple of beers right now. But nope, somebody's mistake is causing me to do this. However, I don't really mind doing it. Because it's my responsibility now. So if I get pulled over, I get written up for it. Could I call somebody to have them come and fix it absolutely but the red tape of doing that is such a pain in the ass this is literally an 89 cent part that's at the hardware store I won't name the name where it's expensive and I understand that but that 89 cent part could have shut me down and I'd have been losing a lot of money then so I don't mind fixing this real quick okay Let's see if we can do this right not 100% sure if this was what the issue is but I'm gonna bet that's what the issue is and I think I would like to cut off some of that clear. Actually, I can pull it. I can pull it enough. Compression ring. Oh yeah, nice fit. Nice fit. I'm going to do a little cutting. I'll be back. Now I have to be careful that I do not cut the red line whilst I'm trying to cut this.
and I'm just trying to give myself more room. Sometimes you can rip cut. There, that little bit extra should be all I need. But what I really need, I can't find for the moment. There it is. Let's see what this looks like. That's where I want it, down in there. Down in there. There's not a whole lot of room to do this though. Okay. See why I can I go through that hole? Oh, nice! You can see why I cut that part on top just to give me a little bit more room. If I remember correctly, that was 16. Yeah, 16 millimeter. I see that green mark and I'm like, yeah, no. Never should have been signed off. It would be nice to have that rubber piece connecting it again. The hose right here. Maybe I could throw it on. Compression ring to seat. Okay, so what you're hearing is the bags deflating. Or actually rising, I'm sorry, they're rising. Deflate is when you have the brake set. I have the brakes pushed in right now. Um, tractor. Ah, it scares me every time. The tractor brakes are set, so I'm not worried about it rolling until just that. But as you can tell, we have solved our problem. 
I'm going to put this on just for schmicks and giggles. I don't think it'll do anything, but who knows? Maybe a rock will hit right there. There we go. 89 cent part. Could have gotten me a violation as well as uh, out of service until repair was done. Repair is done. Brand new trailer. At least now I can go and we can go to uh, Brigham City over by Ogden, Utah tomorrow. So let's go see if the other end of uh, the uh, trailer line that we repaired also is okay. And then if so, I'm going to go drink a cold beer. I use these for creepers all the time. They work great. No tires, they're decent, but they're better if they go all the way across. Good enough for me. That one back there was a proper repair. This is a jury rig, but as you can see, it was the same thing as this, sort of. That one had a bigger ID diameter meaning, I don't know, get more air quicker. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Peace. Okay. Put my tools back where they belong. Along with water for cleaning bugs. That's their toolbox. Put tools back there to the depth. Okay. Back to vacation time.